what's going on YouTube, Gsnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply the CDFX released by Coolstar two days ago in DAB format using Falsam. Now, this fix has been released for an update that he pushed and pretty much broke Cydia in its first hours. So uh, naturally, I'm talking about this update in here, Cydia GUI and Cydia compatibility package. Now, normally Cydia was split into these two packages in here to pretty much preserve it for the uh, next jailbreaks and of course to pretty much allow it to work alongside with Cilio. Now, the problem is that in the first hours there was something wrong and for people who updated to these packages in the first hour when they were released, the CDS stopped working completely with a black screen and then quitting. So if you have that kind of problem, you will definitely need to update this way. Now I made a video back then when the problem was still fresh, but a lot of you are telling me in the messages even right now that you are unable to do it or you don't know how to do it with Falza. So I'm going to show you how to apply the fix and get Cydia back working. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need Falsam and the terminal, which I have uh, the uh, terminal in here. And of course, you can download them both from Cydia. And if you don't have them already, it's going to be complicated because you're going to need to involve the computer and SSH. And in that case, you need a completely separate video. So if you need a video for SSH on a computer, tell me and I'm going to make one. This video assumes that you do have Falsa and a terminal and these are very important tools that you should have had and you should install and have on a corner of your device just for these moments when everything goes wrong. So naturally you wouldn't be able to open Cydia at this point if you did the update in the first hours. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now, if your Cydia did install and your uh, upgrades actually installed successfully, there is no point into doing that. But anyways, if you have the problems, you're going to have to navigate here to Coolstar's tweet, which I'm going to link in the description down below. And he says in here that for those of you who have the uh, broken Cydia package, you have to install this via either SSH or Falsa. So you have to press the uh, GitHub link in there and it's going to bring you to this page in here, but it says that the file is too big. Now, in order to download it, you're going to have to press desktop version in here, which will bring you to this website. And then you have to pinch the zoom and get to view raw. You press view raw and then you press open in here. And then the file will download in the browser and ask you if you want to open it. And this is why uh, the uh, files are is very important. You're going to press open in files and there we go. Now the file is available in here and it's in DAB format. Now naturally all the tweaks you install are in DAB format, even the themes. And CD app handles the unpacking using DPKG. We're going to do that manually now. So Falza itself has an option to unpack and install something like this. So we're going to press in here once and it gives you some information about the maintainer and so on, and the name of the tweak and whatever. So you can either extract it or install it. We're going to press install and we're going to see something like this. If you don't see any errors in here, the installation went successfully. And of course you will be able to use the package. So what I'm going to do is to press respring. All right, so we're back after the uh, respring, but as you can see, I have nothing new on the screen. And this is where the terminal is required. You're going to have to run UI cache. Now you can either run UI cache from SSH or from this kind of terminal on the device, but the command itself is UI cache. So we're going to run it. And once we run the command, it should clear up everything so that we can see the new application installed. And there we go, no icon and the name is Cydia Helper. But if you open it, it's going to give you this option to update Cydia. Now the application doesn't have the newest and you know best uh, design in here, but that's not the purpose of the app. Now, if you're going to press update Cydia, it's going to start the process in which it's going to pretty much reinstall Cydia and do everything, removing the old Cydia, removing the old update and so on. So yes, at this point it says done. You may now uninstall this helper from Cydia. So if you see this, then you successfully fixed your Cydia. You can press exit in here and we're going to open Cydia, which for some reason on this theme has the Cilio icon and everything should be fine. You should be able to complete the upgrade. So we're going to press complete upgrading here and we're going to press confirm and we should be good to go. 
Alright, so after the update finished, Cydia closed automatically, and now if we open it, we're going to have the latest version with the, you know, split packages and so on. So as you can see, it does work, it works fine, we have everything installed in here, including the Cydia GUI and the update helper that we're going to press a heading here, and we're going to remove since we no longer need, it's the application we use to fix everything. So we're going to press in here, remove everything, and we should be good to go. And of course, Cydia should be working again. No more black screens and it can install things fine and this of course this update allows you to use both Cydia and Cilio once Cilio will be released so this is pretty much it guys thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated I'm Gio Snow and till the next time peace out